In this video, I'm going to share with you three tips on how to invest in Tesla stocks to maximize your gain and how to avoid two costly mistakes that most investors have made. Two very common questions that a lot of people are asking. Oh, the stock price goes down. What happened? Should I actually sell now to take my profit? Will it actually go down further? Number two, the stock price goes up and up. Will it go up further? What happened? Should I actually buy now to ride on the trend? Or should I actually sell now to take my profit? Do you have such thoughts that come to your mind before? It happens to me many times until I have to come up with a solution to overcome them. And in this video, I want to share with you how I overcome this. Hey, this is Jack Liao. And I want to share with you three tips on how to invest in Tesla. And if you can master two of these tips, I think you are already above any other average investor. Have you heard of Tony Robbins? He said that investing is 80% psychology, which is the mind, and 20% mindset. So the battle really lies in the mind. By the end of this video, I hope your mind will be well protected. And I also be talking about what analysts think about Tesla stocks. Appreciate your thumbs up as it helps to reach out to more people. Thank you. And do remember to turn on your notification bell button below to get the latest update of the videos. The first tip is to identify your target price for 2021. This will help you to overcome the mindset of FOLO, follow the fear of losing out. When the stock price goes drops, what happened? Will it drop further? Should I actually sell now to take in profit? Or now it is at its peak? Should I actually cash out? Recognize that it is follow FOLO at play. I remind myself of my target price for Tesla to overcome this. And once I fix my eyes on my target price, I will not be swayed by the short term volatility. Just hold. It takes more strength to hold your position. Hold! I am a super conservative investor, yet an adventurous one. I was audit trained. I was sensitive to the figures. That was about 15 years ago. And ever since I stepped out into entrepreneurship 10 years ago, I'm kind of like a risk taker as well. So when I combined these two skill sets that I have, sensitive with the figures, and more of a risk taker, I'll call this a calculated risk. I take calculated risk. So for next year, 2021, my target price, I use a very simple and easy to understand method. Uh, last Friday, the closing price is at 695. And using Google search to search for the average rate of return for Tesla, it is 35.83%. So if I multiply these two together, I get my target price of $944. I think this new target price is realistic because in line with what Tesla has for 2021 with the Gigafactory opening uh, able to supply to meet for the increase in demand, this is realistic or Maybe this is unrealistic because it is too conservative. Let me know in your comments what do you think and what is your target price. I'll be very interested to know as well. The second tip is to identify the entry price. This will help you to overcome the mindset of FOMO, F-O-M-O, -O, the fear of missing out. For those who want to buy more of Tesla stocks, thinking that I only bought so little. Don't buy, don't enter in at a price when the stock price is going up. FOMO, F-O-M-O happens when you'll be thinking, 
oh, have I missed out the opportunity? I should actually enter in now to ride on the upwards trend. No, there's FOMO at play. I remind myself of my entry price to enter in. I remind myself to be patient and to wait because what goes up will eventually drop. And you want to buy it at a discount, not buy it when it is at its peak. I want to maximize my return. And so I do hope that you can benefit this as well. So what is my entry price? Let's say 20%. Is it sounds reasonable? Yeah, using the Friday closing price, if you multiply by 80% with a 20% discount, that will give you a price of 556, 556. To me, as a long-term investor for Tesla, I think this is a good entry price, a good discount, in fact, to enter in. The third tip is to identify the pattern, the chart pattern for Tesla itself. Let's go into the charts. You can see from this uh, technical chart, the close is 965. And what we want to know is to identify the pattern, what will happen over here. I'm going to use this two bar pattern. This is what's going to happen. I suppose it will go up, then it will drop and drop. It will go sideways dancing, and a wedge up will happen before it shoot up. Tesla stock always has this chart pattern whereby it goes up, drop, drop, go sideways dancing, wedge up form, and it shoot up. How about those? analysis prediction like JP Morgan analysis who actually predict and have their stock price at $90. I mean, what? That is ridiculous. It's not difficult to tell why they have this low price target for Tesla. If and they have ownership in NEO and they are increasing and they have increased their ownership to 69% of NEO. They have vested interest. That's why they gave a very low ridiculous price for Tesla. For Goldman Sachs, they say that their target price for Tesla is $780. I think that is reasonable. And going forward in 2021, I think they were going to revise their target price to even higher. If you're interested to follow any of the analysis, I would recommend Gary Black, which I follow in the Twitter. And I think his train of thoughts is quite reasonable. In general, it is common for the stock price to drop when it reaches its peak because people will take in profit. When I mention people, people are referred like institutions, the hedge fund managers. They are like the big waves they can cause a big splash in the stock market movement. Retail investors like you and me doesn't cause much movement in the stock market. We are just too small. At the end of the day, just remember Tesla stock pattern. Up, drop, drop, go sideways dancing, wedge up pattern form, and it will shoot up. Thank you once again for your thumbs up. And finally, my friend, Stay safe and invest well. I'll see you.